Dawn on the Coronian Spit is the most beautiful moment of the day. Its whole inner world comes to life. The morning dew on the grass shines in the rays of the sun that warm the earth, awakening it after the coolness of the night. Along with the earth, its most industrious inhabitants wake up, red forest ants. They play a fundamental role in this self-sustaining ecosystem and protect it from pests. Forests cover the spit, but there are spaces for shallow lakes rich in marsh vegetation. These serve as feeding grounds for many species of birds, semi-aquatic, such as the gray heron, and aquatic, like mallards. The herons find their staple food here, fish, and mallards use the swampy lakes for nesting as well. In the meadows, you can touch a 100-year-old oak near the village of Ribachi, meet a fox or a European roe deer. And then, again plunge into the abundant pine forests of the spit. The first to appear on the sand dunes are sea mustard and sea holly. The rich food resources of the Coronian Lagoon attract shorebirds from the sand dunes. Great swarms of gulls form on the slopes near the bay. Among them are large seagulls and herring gulls. But what are these funnels formed here in the sand? Ant lion larvae live in the sands of the Coronian Spit, and here we see an adult. Varied landscapes are characteristic of the Spit. Along with recently planted groves of young pines, there are older patches of forest that are already about 70 years old. The territory of the National Park stretches along the coast for 49 kilometers. It was almost immediately marked by the largest bird of prey, not only on the Coronian Spit, but in Europe, the white-tailed eagle, listed in the Red Book of Russia and the Kaliningrad region. Its wingspan reaches two meters, and it can weigh up to seven kilograms. The white-tailed eagle is a daring predator. It can catch fish that weigh more than itself, and it never abandons its prey. Two kilometers from the village of Morskoya, there is Lake Swan formed by wind erosion. And here is its occasional tenant, the great cormorant. On sea islands, cormorants can settle on rocks, but here they prefer tall trees, and they fly to Lake Swan to refresh themselves while away from their nests.
In the deciduous forests, black alders dominate on the spit. They are located in the depressions between the dunes, where the groundwater is close to the surface and along the coast of the Coronian Lagoon. There's a place for everything in our park, from the common predatory orb weaver to bright butterflies of the Admiral Nymphalidae family to the herbivorous Sika deer. And even a giant Thuya, the only one on the Coronian spit. The Dancing Forest one of the most mysterious sites of the park. It's located on the 37th kilometer of the spit. Wild fox populations fluctuate greatly, but on the Coronian spit, there's always a high number. So encountering this animal is not uncommon for visitors to the national park. Perpetual motion. This is the natural state of swelling and shifting of the dunes. They move, driven by westerly winds. Large, fortified dunes, developed over the last century, anchor the shoreline, while neighboring white dunes are the most dynamic part of the Spitz topology, occupying about one-third of its area. According to an old legend, the enchanted swan princess from the fairy tale lives on the Coronian spit. And lastly, around Lake Chaika, there's just enough time left in the day to see a hard worker still at his job, a beaver, which, by the way, is the largest rodent in the park. Perhaps sunset on the Coronian Spit is second only to sunrise. <laughs>